What's up everybody, this is Jay, and this video is about Empire, and where did it go wrong? Now, first off, I'm a fan of the show, and I'm gonna come from a place of love when I'm coming right here, so I'm not hating on the show, but actually just breaking it down and seeing where happened, where did it all go wrong? First off, I'm gonna start off pointing out what happened and what went right. And the number one thing is they cast two excellent actors in Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard, who were very well known, had a lot of work under their belt in movies, and they also had worked together previously. And so they had chemistry and they, they did well on screen together. So that was a no brainer and a smart move. Also, Lee Daniels, who was the creator of the show and producer, uh, he actually had full support from Fox in order to bring his vision to the screen. His first season had 12 episodes, and after that, it had 18 episodes each season therefore afterwards. And unlike Power, they always had enough episodes to bring their vision and story to the, to the screen and develop characters. And that was a good thing. He even had such support that they even allowed him to have a spinoff show, Star, and he was able to expand that world and bring it in another well-known actor, actress, and Queen Latifah to help bring that show to light. And so the one good thing is he always brought in well-known actors and actresses to help with the show, and it automatically gave it a level of credibility from the get-go. Now, the one good thing also about the show is although they had Terrence Howard and Taraji uh, P. Henson as the leads, they had a good surrounding cast. They had surrounded by three young men that were the children of those two, and they were all talented actors in their own way, and that helped to balance out the cast so it wasn't so much about Terrence and Taraji. And another thing that they also did with the show to keep it fresh and to also keep fans interested in what would happen in the next episode is they always brought in a steady stream of well-known actors and actresses to be a part of the show. And the storyline was good. I mean, it's a guy coming from the streets, rapping up and coming. And now he's made it to the point where he has his own label and they're trying to go public. And there's a lot of other things going on, but he still has one foot in the streets. Uh, it never took all both feet out the streets, uh, so to speak. And so they had guest appearances from play people like Snoop Dogg because it bridged the music industry as well as of course it's a show and acting they were able to bring in <clears throat> people like Ludacris as well uh, Chris Rock and just a plethora of well-known actors and actresses and it always kept the show interesting although Chris Rock being a gangster in prison was kind of a, a reach I mean Pookie ain't grow up that much but anyway <clears throat> they had Alfre Woodard playing Taraji's mother. Uh, they had Forrest Whitaker. He had one eye open on Lucius the whole time. They never could see eye to eye though. But uh, anyway, Anthony Hamilton making a guest appearance when Lucius was proposing to Boo Boo Kitty. And also they did have a beautiful cast as well. A lot of pretty women. Uh, they even had Gabare Sidibe as a main member of the cast as well. And uh, you know, she she was sitting there on swole playing this character becky uh large and in charge running things and uh we had uh you know a lot of different cast members uh that was just introduced to the show that it just kept the show fresh exciting and interesting and then the music they had some good original music. They had people like Neo and others that were helping to create original music for the show. And it even was having some songs become hits on Apple Music. And that's very rare for a TV show nowadays 
to have good music cross over from actors and people actually want to listen to it or buy it or support it. They even had drama with Lucius' leg getting blowed off and, uh, you know, the, the which one of the sons wanted the company to take over and didn't want the company. And it was just, uh, it was interesting. And so um, the drama between Lucius and Cookie in the first season and second season, it kept the show pretty good and interesting because the two stars weren't just so buddy-buddy. But now let's get into where it went wrong that's right lulu open them eyes let's go on and dive deep into where it went wrong first off okay it is gay people in the black community and is gay people you know all over the world that is true but when they do a tv show they do research and demographics to see who's really watching this show and although the one of the main cast members jamal was gay they started to put his lifestyle and sexual activities more and more into the show and it alienated a half of their demographics which is black men now black women will still put up with that more so than black men but a black man that's not gay does not want to see you know two men kissing or participating in homosexual activities on a weekly basis and i know from me asking around on my channel on my videos and the comments a lot of people said they stopped watching during or after season two because it became too much and around season four they actually started to tailor it back some but a lot of the audience was gone and they weren't coming back because of that lee daniels is gay and it said in interviews before that a lot of the things that he went through in life he put into the show such as when lucius threw jamal in the garbage that's something that uh he said had happened to him at one point in his life and so a lot of things that happened to him and things that he had to deal with he put into the character jamal who jesse smollett is actually gay as well in real life and so it became more of he trying to tell his story instead of maybe trying to tell the story of jamal and the characters and even if that is the case we didn't have to see that and when you have people watching that with children sometimes they don't want their kids to learn about this stuff by watching a tv show maybe the parents wanted to talk to them on their own time and so that was another thing that helped to alienate half of the audience because they didn't want to watch that and have to deal with that with their child and just like if somebody was watching a man that was promiscuous with many women maybe they wouldn't want to watch that either people do have the option to decide what they do and do not want to watch and unfortunately a lot of people didn't want to see that unfortunately for the show rather i should say now lucius they did have terrence howard with uh you know boo boo kitty <laughs> anika but then that relationship didn't work out and eventually they started killing off one too many people on the show which seems to be the go-to move for a show when it's in trouble and then it's the juicy j aka jesse smullett incident and when he got a little scratch i guess he got into the little windmill battle with the two african uh stud muffins <laughs> so to speak even to this moment all of the information isn't out and he's still saying he's innocent but whatever the case from what we all know uh, for the most part it's something smells a little fishy and uh it just it, it's not adding up and it alienated another portion of the audience they had and then for lee daniels to be in full support of jesse at the moments the beginning moments uh and then it comes out that it was possibly allegedly a hoax 
uh, it just wasn't a good look. And even he said he was embarrassed about the whole thing. And, uh, you know, Jesse, he tries to maintain his innocence, uh, cry me a river, whatever the case may be. But in the end, he destroyed what was left of the show because the studios didn't want to touch him with a 10 foot pole. And it actually hurt the remainder of the show because they would have normally have been renewed for their season sooner than it was but because of the scandal they weren't renewed on time and then after the studios decided whatever reasons they made they come to their conclusion they said we'll renew it for one more season but after that the show is done and so empire went wrong for a number of reasons jesse smollett was what they say uh the straw that broke the camel's back the broke back mountain anyway uh in the end the show could have been one of the best because it had great actors and actresses it had an interesting storyline it had great guest appearances but they went a little too overboard trying to promote a gay narrative and get people to feel sympathetic for a cause that maybe it wasn't for that demographic. They weren't ready for it, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever the case may be. In the end, I think they should have stuck to telling the story about Lucius and Cookie and the son's role with what was going on instead of the gay wedding and other things that they ended up trying to promote all of the promiscuous relationships with Jesse Smullett and all of these men all of these acts that they had them performing on camera and although it's on Fox and they can't exactly get graphic like Skinamax in the end I think it was a little too much for black men they watch the show if you go through my playlist and you look at a lot of my videos especially my early videos on empire you'll see a lot of people say i watch your reviews but i stopped watching this show during season two and i actually didn't start watching empire until season four i went back and watched a little of season three but because when the show first came out all of the things that i was hearing and negativity it made me not interested anymore i wanted to see it originally because of terrence howard and taraji and i saw the first episode but then because it's on fox and if you miss an episode or you miss a week it was hard to go back and check it out this is before hulu and uh other things available fire stick and so I didn't have a way to go back and look to catch up. And then once I was told about everything else going on, I thought this may not be the show for me as well. That's not something that me myself was interested in. A person can do what they want to do, but that didn't mean I wanted to, you know, sit and watch that exactly. Um, so once uh, i started doing the youtube videos and people suggested i should do reviews for empire and check it out i went and checked it out and by season four a lot of that had calmed down and then lucius was no longer the same person he was the white okay i'm the white i'm no longer lucius okay mate so in the end it kind of took away a lot of the drama and excitement that a lot of people liked on the show from that aspect. And the show was pretty much a completely different show almost with Lucius and Taraji getting remarried and they're back together. No more drama between the two. And then they started to calm down some of the activities with Jesse Smullett. Uh, I don't know. It, was, it wasn't as much over the top as the earlier seasons but then it wasn't as much drama as well and so to compensate for the drama they began killing off everybody the uh, boo boo kitty uh forrest whitaker and uh his little son half breed and so it's just a lot of other stuff going on 
in the end it's sad that the show went out the way that it did it's hard to it's very unfortunate very few shows like this get to go out like Seinfeld or when they are on top on their own terms and uh, that's unfortunate but we'll see how it goes Terrence and Taraji their careers are set they can do anything they want to do I don't know about Jesse Smullett his career may be in limbo and I don't know maybe uh, Andre and Hakeem may have a career now after what's going on maybe they've made enough for themselves to keep going we'll see in the end i'm interested in your comments what do you think where do you think i may have missed or went wrong or what do you think do you agree disagree i'll be checking out the comments join me at patreon.com where i try to give early access to all my videos i try to put exclusive content there just for you as well as in many other gifts that i give for my supporters you can also get your name listed at the end of my videos i wouldn't continue to do this work without you guys i love you subscribe hit that like i'm trying to get 50 likes for this video and I'll see you on the next one. And hey, thanks, Mike. Don't forget, I will be back, Mike. Lucius out, Mike.